Good evening. How's everybody this evening? Hey, Rebecca Davis. Hey, Yankee Sister Homestead. Hey, MB Heritage Farms. Good evening. Hey, Garden State Gardener. Hey, The Sweet Spot. Hey, Lavender for Luck. Hey, Carolina Roots. Good evening. How y'all? Hey, Sonia Hickman. Hey, JG. Hey, Michael Farmer. Hey, IOT uh, Robinson. Hey, Mad Acres. Hey, Soul Power, aka Gabe the Kinzel. How y'all doing this evening? If everybody don't mind, uh, before we start, uh, please that like button, please. Hey, LP, good evening. Yeah, I had did the premiere. Hey, James Franklin, good evening. Um, I had did the premiere last night, and a lot of people had questions. So I wanted to come back with a, a Q&A about vanilla. Hey, sifting some soil, 55. Hey, my Renaissance grandma. Good evening. Okay, so I'm going to get started because I don't want to hold y'all up uh, all evening. But vanilla. What do we use vanilla for? We use vanilla in a lot of things, right? So I had just heard, um, good evening, Lady Cheryl. Um, I just heard the other day, and I, I don't, y'all have to do y'all research, that they use some type of beaver parts for the artificial uh, vanilla. I never knew that. I just, since the pandemic, I wanted to know everything that was in my food, and I bake a lot. So that's what got me on my vanilla journey. So one of the quick, hey, Goddess Leo, good evening. One of the questions yesterday from um, Stacy at Veggie Farm Garden, she wanted to know how long do the vanilla beans last before you use them and how do you store them? So it's a lot of different, um, it's a lot of different times that people use, uh, to harvest their vanilla extract. I use alcohol on all my extracts. So the one thing that I know, my, my time is 18 months because I want the best flavor in the pool out of my vanilla beans. Some people do 12. Some people do six. Some people do less than that. Because it's your vanilla extract, you have to be the judge of that. But one way that you know that it's done is when you don't smell that much of an alcohol. You smell more of the vanilla flavor or the vanilla smell, not the flavor. Um, no, I, I've never heard of vanilla bean seeds. I've heard of plants, but I've never heard of vanilla bean seeds. And most of the time, um, because I bought a vanilla plant to try to see what I could do, um, but they have to be in a very hot, hot uh, environment. 
yeah. So um, it just the the sitting time and the alcohol or the glycerin. The glycerin is the non-alcoholic uh, medium to pull the flavor out the beans. Uh, it's um, it just depends. But that's the that's the great part of it is because it's yours and you could pull it whenever you want to. But you want to have, to me, the maximum flavor for you could put it in whatever you putting it in. Do that make sense? Michael Farmer, you can get the seed from the vanilla bean. It's self right. That's what's inside. Right. Well, they're like real little seeds, um, almost like how basil seeds is, collard green seeds. But I've never heard nobody grow them from that. But that's possible. Hey, GT. And another question that GT asked me about um, yesterday, how many did I have in that bag? I had 15 ounces. of vanilla beans. Let me go get get what I got left. So this is what I have left of 15 ounces. It's uh six ounces left. But like I said, this is the one of the higher grades, the Mexican Madagascar beans. And just because it's Madagascar doesn't mean that it's from Mexico. Madagascar beans uh, are grown in a lot of different countries. But the Mexican, um, let me show you. Who wasn't here yesterday? See how fat that bean is? And then once you put it to sit in the alcohol, they they plump up like if it, it wasn't dried out. And it's real long too, longer than, because you have vanilla beans that's thinner than this and smaller than this. And I'm going to put another one next to it so you can compare it. Hey, growing something with Jeff. Look how fat this bean is. But it's, it's a little shorter. But it's still the the premium size and length. And GT, the the website that I'm going to give you, if if you go with them, they have uh, different vanilla beans. So the different vanilla beans are different prices. Just like I have one that's from Sri Lanka that was like nineteen dollars an ounce. But that's the premium. That's premier, premium than this. Hey, Pathway Homestead. So, this is just a sample. Hey, Food by Faith, Garden to Table. Good evening. So, this is my first batch because I didn't know no better. Well, I ain't going to say I ain't know no better, but I put like five beans in here, right? And I started this on 12, 11, 20. But I could, I could see that most of the alcohol smell is almost gone. But you see the, the, the tent that's in there? This was... This was straight clear, but with the 
with the um extraction it it turned like a a tan color gt say i stick with the regular beans <laughs> yeah that is pricey so you see that <clears throat> now this is another one and it's a it's a premium brand too um this is from new guinea and it's the uh I can't even read it. This is a New Guinea, but you can see the you can see the um vanilla beans in there. They plump. But it's a little darker. You see that? And oh, here go the bottom. You can see the bottom how the tin is. And you can't see it real good. But it's darker than the one I only put five beans in. And I started this one in May of 21. Food by Faith. I actually just put my beans in the liquor bottle. I use bourbon too. Yeah, I got some in bourbon too. Hey, Denise, backyard garden. The best bean to me is the Madagascar from Mexico. But Madagascar, period, is the, the basic bean for um, vanilla extract. At growing something with Jeff. Now, this right here, I started in August of 21. And this is a Tahitian bean. And it's already dark. So some people, they put, they call it one fold, two folds, three folds. Um, the more beans you put in your extract, the stronger it's going to be. Uh, thank you, Food by Faith. Um, yes, I'm, I'm going to share that too, growing with Jeff. So, uh, that's, hey, Adele, good evening. Um, but yeah, the Tahitian have a good taste. I'm going a, I'm to a run down. Hey, G Mama, did I speak to you early? I'm not sure. We've been so many places together. Um. I'm a I'm gonna share with you like the different taste to some of the different beans. Uh hey sifting not sifting some soil. Um little house there. Good evening. So now I started on uh Mad Acres, you take us around the world with this vanilla, right? Um I started in a co-op because I wanted the cheapest price for the, the quality of beans, right? So if you go on Facebook, it's a vanilla co-op. Can you see that? You see it? Injuries Vanilla Bean Group. Spice Rum. I'm not sure uh, if I got one with Spice Rum. I got one with Jack uh, and Southern Comfort. Yes. Thank you, Food by Faith. Yes, Injury Vanilla Group. Now, you see how many people was in there, right? That's how big the group is. 
But what you do is they offer a certain being at a certain time, like they got another one being going right now. I forgot what kind it was. Uh, it's Madagascar bourbon, grade A. They don't say specifically where it's from, but um, I think those are like, I think those were $9 an ounce, but you have to wait till they um, accept more people in the group. Michael Farmer, it seems like you could grow it from the little seeds and the bean itself, but it needs a lot of sun and humidity. You can grow it in a greenhouse. Okay. I know Lady Led, she's, she got one, but it's, it's taking a long time. I'm trying to catch up with the... Yeah, vodka. Lady Cheryl. Um, somebody said, I'm a brown girl. No, I just wanted to try different because different alcohols uh, alter the taste. So just like if you put it with rum, it's going to taste a little different than with vodka. Or if you put it with bourbon, it's going to taste a little different with bourbon. Hey, David Corey. Good evening. Yeah, so the thing with them, too, with Injury Vanilla, they have a retail side. I'm trying to see. I think it's like InjuryVanilla.com. And the beans are a little higher. Um, on the retail side, that that's why it's worth um, getting into the the co-op. <clears throat> but if you want instant gratification, the the retail side is where it's at. Yeah, it's injury vanilla. Dot com. Uh, the vodka is the standard for uh, bacon. Growing with something with Jeff. <laughs> G mama, what you talking about? <laughs> so. Yeah, that's um okay. Let me see how much the prices is on the on the website. So it's a Madagascar bourbon, and bourbon is not what you okay. See, this is a Madagascar bourbon, right? That's only what the beans were cured in. That's not what you have to uh do your vodka in. I mean, do your uh, extract in. You can use whatever liquor you want to. The key is the alcohol has to be 80 proof or higher. So if you get something that's 60 proof, it's not going to pull out of the vanilla being like 80 proof or higher. Hey, be Belly Acres, uh, number three. He said, got me inspired to try it. Yeah, Mad Acres, that's true. So, yeah, um, people, I don't know why they, I guess because it's a bourbon, but that's just what they drive the beans in. That's not necessarily what you have to use. And I'm looking on the thing. It says from $3, but I don't know what you get for $3. 
I know on the co-op side, you um you get an ounce per whatever dollar they charge. Yes. At the Nays Backyard Garden, 80 proof or higher. So this is some of the different beans. You have this, and this is what they carry too within the uh year. Good evening, uh Sheree at home with at home with Sheree. Now we understand you're not late. So they have a uh, Indonesia vanilla bean, the notes of cinnamon, cream, and butter. These beans, most common flavor of vanilla extract made with these beans will give the familiar flavor bought in store. Bourbon cured. See, it's bourbon cured, but they use uh they use vodka to make the extract. Hold on, I'm trying to catch up. Lady Cheryl said, I gave my children for Christmas Madagascar aged in bourbon and Madagascar extracted in vodka aged for a year. Right. Pluau and Pluri tree. Those are fruit trees, David Corey. Good evening, Black Tropical. Homestead, I don't see you, but I see somebody talking to you. Hey, Stacy and Veggie Farms, I was answering your question earlier. Um, you store your vanilla beans. Uh, you try to put them in alcohol as soon as you get them, because if they sit out too long, um, they mold. So any alcohol, the people who um, sell them that I get them from, before they package them up, they, they put them in some type of alcohol just to cover them until they get to you. So that's how I storm. It was another question she had. How long do vanilla these last before you use them? Oh, and... You said you asked how long do the vanilla beans last before you use them? They last for eternity as long as you keep them sedated in the alcohol. Just like a tincture. Tinctures don't go bad because the alcohol preserves that tincture. And most people that deal with vanilla beans a lot, what will happen, say. Say when I harvest this vanilla extract, I can take the, the vanilla beans, I can dry them out and make vanilla powder. I can take them out and make vanilla sugar. Good evening, F.R. Humphrey. I can take them out. I can make, uh, some people make vanilla salt. Uh, some people make their own vanilla creamer, um, or I'm going to get a big, a bigger one. So if I don't have, uh, no use for the beans, I can make me a mother jar just as long as I keep the mixed vanilla beans covered in alcohol. Are y'all, are y'all following with me? Oh, that's awesome. You made some Kahlua. And then, too, another thing on um, the co-op is that uh, they have some wonderful, wonderful recipes, especially close to the holidays.
Right. I can imagine that. You say Bill. Grow something with Jeff. You use your mother jar to just hold the vanilla beans until you have use for them. But that's making extract too. Uh, it'll just have a different flavor because it'll be mixed with all the different cat. Cause I got like a lot of different type of beans. Good evening. Hands in the dirt. Good evening, mama J. So let me finish telling y'all about these different beans. So y'all could be, uh, y'all could be on the up and up. So the, Indonesian beans have a note of cinnamon, cream, and butter. Uh, it's another Madagascar vanilla bean. Uh, it have a rich, woody, clear smell that is very similar to the smell of vanilla bought in stores. That's the Mexican cured, uh, which is the sun, and the bourbon cured, they use a steam process. So then you have the pervarian beans, and they are wider and longer than any other variety and have flavor and aroma notes that are floral and fruity. They are much more rare than other varieties. They grow year-round because they are grown in a truly native environment and pollinated by bees rather than by hand. Rarely available, bourbon cured steamed. You have Sri Lanka vanilla beans. You have uh, pa Papawa New Guinea vanilla beans, Tahitian, Uganda, Hawaiian, Indian, Cook's Island, Camarosa, Venu, Venu, I can't even say it, but uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo. It's so many dang on. I haven't even got to these. I The last one I ordered was Hawaiian. Hey, Star Duster 2. But it's a different, and that's why I say the, the co-op is good, too, because just like I learned a lot from the co-op, y'all can, too, so you could be on the up. Just like some vanilla beans are just for, uh like, perfumes and stuff, which um I don't think I got none of those. I'm trying to keep up. Oh, food by faith. She sell uh, vanilla extract, two ounces. Wow, so glad to know this. Grown Hudson twice found by V beans behind other spices, and they went bad. Yeah, if you don't put them in alcohol or glycerin, whichever one you use. At home with Sheree, I have resisted joining Growing With Hudson. You are messing with me right now. I don't mean to, sis. But it is a it's, it's a good investment. See the sweet spot? You you too. Yeah, GT, it's a lot. Okay, what is the name of the co-op again? Um, let me show you. This name of it. Can you see it? Yep, that's it, Lavender for Luck. Lavender for Luck, uh, put it in the comments. But um Stacy um at Veggie Farms, did that answer your question from yesterday?
at home with Cherie. I didn't realize there were so many varieties. Maybe that's something I'll look into for fall. Thank you. I'm trying to see if I answer. I know um, a lot of people kept asking. Yes, that answered it. Okay, I'm glad I, I answered it. But a lot of people was asking about the co-op and Lavender for Luck put it. Um, I put it in my last video too, but it's on Facebook. And it's some more co-ops out there too. Um, I just don't know about, you know, how to get into it. But I know about this one because I'm I'm in this one. But do I have any um, other questions? And I hope all y'all join my journey and understand how excited I be with, with, with vanilla extract. And then you'll know what's in your extract. Okay, no more questions. I'm going to show y'all because I got some mail today. So I might as well show y'all what this is. Where did you get the chart of all the beans? In the co-op. That's where I got it from. Grew up something with Jeff. But you could probably Google. Um, you could probably Google it somewhere. Um, the sweet spot. Uh, I'm thinking somewhere like June because I'll have more batches ready, but um, maybe June-ish. And then, like I say, we're going to celebrate that 500 we got. Uh, so I'm going to uh, give somebody a, a bottle. This is a sign. I think it's really cool you're making your own. Two years ago, I would not have thought people could make their own. Love this community. Right? I do too. But let me... Okay, this is the first season. Yeah, Hands in the Dirt, the Madagascar. This is the first season. You know how we want to up our garden game each year. This is the first season I found this. Have y'all seen this in y'all stores? I was geeked. I, I don't need no chickens. Oh, that's that's four ounces for $50. Hey, Juicing with Jay. Belly Acres number three, we used to buy big bottles every year. We would bring a cross border from Mexico until we were told they used strychnine. Have no idea if they really did. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, man, I guess that's what I'm talking about. But this is the first time I ever seen this. I was tripping. Uh, it was under $10. I say they up in that game, ain't they? Thank you, hands in the dirt. But, okay, let me, I got to stop right here. For the people that's in here, and I've tried to explain this. It wasn't me that got the 500. It was us that got the 500. Because it wouldn't have been 500 without y'all. So congratulate all of us. It's going to be a party, y'all. It's going to be a party. So I got these seeds that I won from Gardner State Gardener. It's a uh, Genesee, Genevieve, 
basil. Yes, we all deserve. We go. We all deserve to be at a thousand. We just go. Have, it just take time. And I was tripping because it had two bags in here. That's a lot of seeds. Yeah, we go party. We go party for real. Lady Shira, I have to step out to answer a few emails, but I'm listening. Okay, Lady Shira. And then my auntie sent me something. I thought that was so neat. She said... This the card. That's pretty. It says, hey, Hudson, just sending some handmade love, Auntie Ellen. And she painted that herself. Isn't that neat? We, we have some great people in our community, for real. So I got some African marigolds. That, that look like a lot, don't it? And I got a mask that she made. And she sent me a pot holder. Isn't that nice? I like that color too. Yeah, and that's so personal. I I really uh, appreciate it. Thank you, I.T. Ellen, and thank you, Gardner State Gardner. Oh, I.T. Ellen sent you some too, microphone. <laughs> yes, she's she's a, a wonder, and she's so like knowledgeable. But yeah, that's all I had for everybody. Y'all sure y'all don't have no more questions? If you do have any questions, again, it's Injury Vanilla. That's the co-op on Facebook. And they have on Injury.com or InjuryVanilla.com. You could go on their website and order straight from them. Yeah, they are special, G Mama. And G Mama, I haven't um forgot about you. I'm gonna email you. Oh, she's only three towns up from you, Micro Farmer. Yes. Or something with Jeff. I need to catch up on your vanilla making videos. I know I've missed some. Uh, yeah, they they there growing something with Jeff. Uh, but it's it's simple. Um, that's another thing that's for debate. But every half a cup of alcohol, just like I diluted, and and that's what a lot of people probably don't understand either. With Everclear, Everclear is real. It's proof is, is high. Let me see how many proofs I got.
problem with it. Oh, I see it. So, right here, the Everclear is 190 proof, right? So, that's that's too high. Uh, I don't know what it would do, but because I want closer to 80 proof, I diluted it one part one. Like, if I use one cup of this, I'm going to use one cup of the steel water. And that, uh make it um 